On today's video, we're going to be using OBS Studio on the Mac and trying to help somebody out and we're going to be setting up hotkeys. And I'm going to show you what that is here in just a minute. Y'all stay with us. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well today. So OBS Studio, I've made several videos on OBS Studio, which I'll link a playlist up here above me. Never can remember which side it's on. So OBS Studio is a streaming recording software you can use on Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever. And it allows you to either record your screen like I'm doing right now. This is OBS. Or you can stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, whoever you want to stream to. You can stream gameplay or a talking head session, um, podcast. A lot of podcasting goes on with it. So I had a question on one of my videos that asked, well, let me just pull it up here. With Ventura, have you tried setting up shortcut keys for your different scene setups? My hotkeys on OBS are no longer working since Ventura. I double checked my old iMac from 2017 and found my hotkeys are still working there. Um, and says the hotkeys work when you're in the OBS window, but once you switch to a capture area, they fall or they fail. Fail. I don't know why they'd say they fall. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I hope I've got what this, this person said. I'm not going to say their name, but um, now I can't get it to fail. I've tried, but so we're going to try it. So hotkeys is where you can set it up. Let me share my screen. Okay, here's my screen. I'm going to open the settings up in OBS Studio. So you see you have all your general stream outputs where you can set up your streaming, recording, whatever. You can go down to hotkeys. Now hotkeys is where you can just do a two key quick change on your scenes in OBS. And your scene is where you have your camera, your microphone, your whatever display capture set up as a scene to where you can switch back and forth with like a transition or whatever. So you can see in my settings here, I've got my start recording, my stop recording. Oop, oh, my mouse is fast. You got my GoPro webcam, my MacBook screen recording, meetings, screen capture, um, the webcam, the webcam stream, my iPhone recording, movies. I mean, I've got them all set up on a hotkey. And what I did, I made a note here so I can look at them and see which one until I get them memorized. So that is how you go in and set hotkey. And I've got it with the control key and like this one's control key and M. So now if I go to control Z, that works. If I go control I, this is a continuity camera on my iPhone. And it works wireless. And I did a video on that one too. It is a cool feature. And as you can see, I've got my, my note over here so I can remember everything. Um, I don't have my GoPro hooked up, but if I go to uh, control H, here's my lower corner. Uh, back to control H, uh, control Z. That's my full screen. So it works recording or not. So I don't know if, um, I don't know what's going on. Now this is, I've got the latest OBS studio. Let me go over to my screen capture and we'll reduce that down so now you can see obs studio we are running version 28.1.2 64-bit and this is on the mac this was released sometime in november this is november 2022 by the way this is december 2022 it was released november 2022 lordy so and the version of mac os that i'm running is ventura 13.1 i went ahead and up Pulled the trigger and updated. And this is on my M1 2020 MacBook Air, best computer I've ever owned. It's just super machine. 
and let me go back here and if I go control Z control G now this is my GoPro webcam this GoPro Hero 8 and uh, let me look at it go home here GoPro Hero 8 no audio but the picture works really good you know I mean you can see the back of this microphone really good uh, control I and I am recording by the way I am recording with OBS control I is my continuity camera so I got three cameras my screen record just like that and I got a 30, 300 millisecond scene transition it's a fade transition so when you do that it kind of fades into the next one this is all free by the way uh, the free it's free uh, for, forgot to mention that up front so that's a, that's another win-win you don't have to buy a stream deck or a loop deck or um, three or four hundred dollar switchers that you can buy or the three thousand dollar switchers you can buy this is all done wirelessly on the keyboard now this is my wireless keyboard the Keychron K2 if y'all want to see a video on that I got one of these. I got a video on everything in here but uh, I hope this helps out uh, one thing, if you uh, if you're going from uh, Monterey or one of the earlier Vert Big Sur or anything to Ventura, and you lose your settings, you can always just reinstall. And what you can do, you can come up. Here, let me share my screen again. So what you do, you go up here to the Scene Collection, and you export your collection of scenes and it's in a JSON file or XML file I can't remember which but if you have to reinstall and you lose your settings you can re-import them back in uh, I've had this a couple times when I've blown my machine away uh, Windows and Mac works great all you do is reinstall import kaboom done so that is a good way to do it if you got any questions, leave them down there in the comment section. I answer every one of them. And here we are back. Those crazy bubbles back here. Oh, it's bright. So I hope you get something out of this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave them down there in the bottom. I answer every one of them. And... Christmas is coming up, end of this week, Christmas 2022. I hope you have a good day. Celebrate it be, be, wisely. Um, but that's about it. I hope you're doing well. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching. That's just some cool stuff right there. I can go here, go here, go here. Just free. I like free. <laughs>